In this video, we're going to build an electric skateboard that's capable of extreme top speeds. Whoa! Recently, I was messing around in my garage and I found my old skateboard from when I was a kid. And after my brother and I messed around a bit, we remembered why we never used it. In my opinion, it would be so much more fun if I could just have someone like Colby push me the whole time. Our plan's pretty simple. We want to attach a bike wheel to the skateboard and have the drill turn that. Just gonna start tearing things apart until something happens. This is kind of what we're going for. So it sits just like this, okay? You step on it, and then it's gonna pull you forward just like that. To make the drill power the skateboard, we grabbed this piece. We needed to get the gear off of it. This gear is what we're going to attach to the drill. I can't do that with that left. The skateboard seemed promising on the workbench, so we took it outside to test it. Uh. It didn't really work. Our drill just didn't have enough power to turn the wheel with us on the board. So to give the drill more torque, we replaced the back wheel and put a tiny sprocket up front. This will reduce the board's top speed, but hopefully give us enough power to get going. Oh, oh my god, dude! Oh my god, dude! It's god, freaking oh. working! Oh my god, dude! Dude, it worked! Alright, ultimate test up the hill. Here we go. Dude, it's, it's actually going though. That's awesome! It's going! This drill is actually showing some good promise. But right before we made it up the hill, our drill started smoking. Oh no! Yeah, I bet that drill doesn't work anymore. It's time for plan B. This is Kiki. We picked her up on Facebook Marketplace for like a hundred bucks. She's brand new, and she's going to be the motor to our new skateboard. Beneath Kiki's plastics, there is potential for a skateboard. All right! Wow! That couldn't be better. <laughs> it couldn't be better! But it was a little too short to stand on. Right here, essentially what we have is basically exactly what our old board was, but way better designed. We're literally going to screw a board to this and make some battery containers. We're gonna figure out a way to also hook up this brake where we can have a way to stop because in the old board, there was no way to stop even if you could get going. Does it fit? Yep. Yeah! It's on there. Wow, look how good that looks. It's all covered up. Then we stole all the electronics off the moped to put onto our new board. Yes, yeah. Crawl right in there. Right out, dude. It's ready to go. Right off the bat, at least this board looked better. It works. Oh my god, it's working. It's pushing me up the hill. From a dead stop! And much like our last one, it kind of worked, but there are a few things we needed to iron out. So it's not very strong. The main problem being, it's super slow. One of these batteries is more powerful than both of these batteries. So we're gonna use two of these batteries. Having two of these batteries clipped into these holders would give us more than double the original voltage, meaning this motor is going to spin fast. 
but because we had bigger batteries, we needed to do away with the moped controller and get a bigger one. So we found this weed whacker and took it apart where we could use the trigger to control the speed of our motor. If it works, we win. You squeeze the trigger, don't touch any wires together. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, it works. It works, dude. So after briefly testing this out, there's one problem with this board. These wheels right here are from a $30 Walmart skateboard. These are longboard wheels that brand new will cost about a hundred bucks. And so we replaced the cheap skateboard wheels with the longboard wheels. And for the first time, we actually had something really promising. Whoa. Oh my God. How do those longboard wheels feel? Much, much better. The brakes even work good enough for me to go down the hill. But even with the new batteries, it was still pretty slow. And while accelerating, it would actually completely give out and stop. So we ordered a beefier controller to handle the massive amount of current going through this board. Then we gave it an awesome paint job. And it seemed promising. But even with the new controller, it still wouldn't want to go past 20 miles per hour. Right now, this board's powered by these two batteries. It's not fast enough. So what we're going to do is add one more and hopefully it will be. With three batteries, we'd be running 52 volts through this motor, which is just insane. It should go 30 miles per hour. See, this is faster. It should be with three batteries. But little did we know, three batteries was a bit too much. What's wrong? the end of that. That is a toasted motor, my man. So we took it back to the shop and started tearing it apart. Dude, it sucks destroying our, destroying our creation, man. It does, because this was, this was actually really cool. Uh. Shatter it. Poor motor. When we took apart the motor, we found that it was basically burnt to a crisp. It, it will never work again. But luckily, we have a plan. We decided to take the board completely apart and order new parts. It's, yes! It fits, dude. It fits. Oh. That were stronger and faster. I'm worried about that. <laughs> because the main thing we ordered was a new motor. Okay, this thing is a 5,000 watt motor. In other words, it's 20 times more powerful than our old one. This could be a stupid thing to put on a skateboard, but we're gonna try. Because this thing's gonna go fast, we needed a lower center of gravity. Dude! And having that wood way up high was a problem. Great. Okay, let's do it next time. So we got some metal and turned it into a custom cover for our skateboard. That's it, dude, that's it. This metal piece turned out really, really well. The whole skateboard like looks super sleek now. And we have a little bit more stepping room right here. Then because we're probably crazy, we added another battery to have a total of 72 volts. With a total of four batteries and a huge controller, we zip tied all the wires together, covered the top and grip tape and made it look amazing. Whoa, dude, this is gonna be crazy. All right, Colby, you're the first one. Test it out. There you go. Whoa! You good? Yeah. That, that looked pretty fast. What you just saw was speed level one out of three, meaning that's the slowest it goes. So right before we stopped filming, I got to try the board and it just was so fast. I, I, got, I got flung off. It's honestly just, it's too fast. It's, a little too dangerous now. Somehow we didn't really think about five horsepower being too fast, but Crazy, trust yeah. me, it was. It's virtually impossible to ride. So we took it apart one more time. Now all this 
gets taken out. And replace that motor with something a little more reasonable for escape. There he goes. All right, time for the top speed run. Wow. And in the end, our board topped out at just under 40 miles per hour. And with all four batteries, it went 26 miles on a single charge. All done.